What's up? This is Square2448 with a FS15 Heavy Rescue video, and today we're going to be taking the Kenworth tow truck on over to one of the dirt trails where one of our rollback trucks got stuck trying to rescue a ATV. So we're going to be hopping in this and starting it up. Now, hopefully, we could get there safely without getting ourselves stuck. So this will definitely be a very challenging video, but I did get a lot of requests to do a heavy rescue with a tow truck stuck in a tow truck crash. So I will definitely be doing many more scenarios like this, but I thought doing one with the mud would be very cool since a lot of you guys really do like the mudding videos and a little bit of off-roading, if you would say, with this very nice tow truck. So I think once we get back to the shop, we will wash this truck because I don't want this truck to be dirty since it's very clean right now so we are making our way on over now this might be a bit of a challenge since this truck is very large and uh, these trails are not too large but we're gonna be taking a right over here and a lot of you guys are really liking the FS 15 videos I will still be doing them but I will be giving a variety of both FS 17 and FS 15 videos so hit the like button if you would like to see more heavy rescue videos to come but I think guys the best thing for us to do is to turn the truck around and back all the way down this you guys can see the truck in the distance way down there so I think it's safe for us to do that because turning around on these dirt trails is definitely challenging so let's see if we can turn around right here so we'll turn our lights on very awesome lights I am a fan of using the lights and all that cool stuff in this, but I will be looking into converting all these uh, tow trucks to FS17. I know that some of the physics and uh, scripts are different, so I will have to see how that works, but we have to make sure that the wheels are over it because I don't want to end up getting this one uh, in a really bad position where we get stuck. Looks like I'm doing a pretty good job keeping the truck over the center. But hopefully we don't damage anything underneath this truck also since uh, there's a lot of tall grass and a lot of shrubs if you would say along the trails but i think we should do an off-road racing video in this i think that would be very cool so let me know down below guys if you do have any cool video ideas and looks like actually there's a mud patch and i don't really want to go in mud get stuck so let's just walk over here and let's see guys how deep is this we should sink Looks like we are sinking. Whoa, guys. That is almost up to our neck. We need to avoid this. Really good that we double checked. And I think we're going to be doing that, especially since uh, there is some very deep mud. And I don't want to get this truck stuck. So we're going to be changing the camera view. We'll go around this. Oh, no. We got half the truck in it, but not too, too bad compared to what it would have been. And what I did notice is that this truck, the lights always turn off, even with the light add-on mod. But it looks like we are coming up on some little uh, places where the water kind of came onto the trail. I think it's just going to help clean the truck, but also we're going to be cleaning it at the end of today. So there's no uh, big deal in that. But guys, we are almost there at the truck. But I think towing it out of here will be the hardest part of this whole thing. But uh, yeah, look, it's over there, so we're going to see what happens and how we can actually pull this truck out. Because I think it's stuck in mud, and it kind of drove off the trail. But uh, we'll see once we get there. But uh, this truck overall is one of my favorite tow trucks. I know that it's one of the only ones out there, but I will be making a smaller tow truck. I think that smaller one would be very cool. But I, whoa, I do want to double check this mud. We did drive in it. Looks like it's not too deep, so we are fine to get back and drive in it if we need to. But we are right here, and I think turn on our light will be the best. And let's get out and take a look. So this truck is a Ford F550, but look at that, guys. It must have drove off, and that is pretty much stuck there. The wheels are actually hanging since the uh, frame of it is actually stuck on the dirt so I think the best thing for us to do is to take off this tracked ATV we're going to be loading it back on but let's see if we can back this up and we'll make it up it will not actually make it up but I think we can let's see looks like we could 
Oh boy. Let's see. Look at that, guys. We drove this up and out of the way. I'm actually thinking, just in case anybody else was to come by, we'll almost use this as like a police vehicle that blocks the trail. I know it won't do much, but maybe if anybody comes, they'll slow down and even stop for us. But uh, let's see if we can uh, move the bottom section, because I know that we do have a bottom part, like down there, tow bar, but I don't think anything's really going to work hydraulic wise since we did break that uh, suspension, but I think we're gonna have to force the bed down, but we'll see if we could lower this. I do wanna extend that all the way out, and uh, look at this, guys. It is a pretty cool video, and I'm very excited to be doing more heavy rescue videos, especially in uh, FS15, since it does have some great mods. So it looks like we got this attached. We're gonna pull it out. Let's see guys, we are already pulling it out. That's pretty nice how we get to do that. Whoa, look at that guys. The truck is in the air. But I think actually that there's a little bit of a problem. Because usually like half the tow bar doesn't like to spawn in. It's way back there. So you usually just have to start up the truck and move that tow bar around just a little. And it should reset itself. That's one of the tips that I really do recommend. There we go, we fixed it. So I think we're going to pull it all the way up and then actually we're going to put the uh, ATV back on since I don't want to leave that out here. And that was the main goal of this tow truck was to get that ATV but they got themselves stuck on the way out which is pretty funny. But we're going to put that down and I don't think having it attached to the tow truck is a safe thing especially when we are loading. But the ATV isn't too large, too heavy so I think we're going to be fine. Lower that down. Perfect. Looks like they do work, but I think it's best for us just to tow out the truck. So we're going to hop back in the ATV. This is a very cool tracked ATV. It is in the new FS17 game, but if you do have any cool video ideas, let me know down below. I am looking for some cool ideas, and I think I'm going to be shouting out the uh, fans who give me good ideas. So that's a good way for you all to get shout outs, and I think that's going to be awesome. So we're going to lower this down, raise this up. Perfect, look at that. So we got this. Now towing this back will be a challenge, I know, since uh, it doesn't really pivot correctly, if you would say, but we're gonna see if we could do our best to get this back to our shop without damaging the truck or the ATV too much. But we're gonna lift this up. Look at that, guys. Very little ground clearance on the back, but we got this attached. We're gonna hop in the first person view and see if we could use this for a little but I think the truck won't be moving too much. And it looks like the mirrors aren't working today. And I'm not sure exactly why. But this might be a little bit of a shorter video. But we did actually do some pretty cool heavy rescue work with a rollback wrecker that uh, got stuck. That went to also get a uh, vehicle. And I know that some places we might bottom out. Like there since uh, it is a locking script that actually holds that truck on. But uh, we are almost there, and is this the mud patch? It looks like it is. So we're going to be going around this one. And I still will be doing many videos in both games. So if you do have any for either game, let me know down below. I'm always looking for great ideas. And I would like to thank you to those who really do send in some cool ideas. Because you guys help make great videos in this game. So it looks like we are back off the trails, which is perfect. But like I was saying, once we get back to the shop... I do want to um, wash the tow truck since it is pretty dirty and it looks like this truck is actually not really straight on so I think it's not safe for that to be the case so we're going to lower it down just readjust I know it might take us just a little bit longer but it is safer than having the truck if you would say drift on either side of the uh, truck and not be directly behind it so we're going to raise that up we're going to lock it back and I will be lettering this truck, probably saying square 2448 towing. I think that will be pretty cool and a more professional, if you would say, since I always really do strive for a lot of realism, even though it is a game. But we are coming up on the shop, which isn't the best shop, but it does the trick for us. So we're going to be turning up here, I believe. Yep, we're going to be taking this right. And over there is a pretty uh, large mud track. So I think we should do a mudding video with the off-roading vehicles. So let me know down below if you guys would like to see maybe some rally racing, some cool things like that. But I think we're going to uh, back this truck 
in. Let's see if we can back it in. Back it on in. Oh no, guys, we lost the ATV. I'm not sure exactly where we lost that, but that's actually really funny that we lost it. So we're going to pull on out, and we're going to put all that down. Let's see. Where is the ATV? I do not see it. Yep, guys, we lost the ATV. I will definitely have to look at that. It looks like we did not strap it down correctly. But there is a water uh, pressure washer, if you would say, right over here. So we're just going to turn the truck off and wash it for just a few... Uh, oh, no, guys, the ATV actually fell off. We're just going to have to roll that over. I know that uh, it does like to slide off the truck here and there. Oh, wrong control. I guess I will have to use the uh, keyboard for this. But we'll wash this truck down really fast. I really do like to do a sense of we do need to keep these trucks looking very nice, clean, and makes the company look very professional. And uh, this truck is worth a lot of money, almost a half a million and even more. So we do want to keep it good. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.